make me laugh. I like having fun. Yes, I like All right. having fun. Let's go! Let's fucking go! All right, this is Tim Heinecker here live in Glendale, California with another wonderful Thursday morning plan for you here, February 9th, 10 a.m. This is just a gorgeous, a gorgeous, a gorgeous, beautiful day. I can't tell you, folks, this week it's been it's really the skies. Grace guys going, I'll clear up an unhappy face. Because it's lovely out. A little chilly, a little nippy in the morning. Get my nipples tight and rock hard. Well, we don't mind that. Then in the afternoon comes, sun comes out. Boy, oh boy, it's been nice. We have got a packed show, so I'm not going to talk about the weather all morning. I want to welcome Mr. DJ Doug Pound. Good morning. And Mr. Jicka Berber. None of our guests today, Mark Summers. Uh, can I introduce the guests? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I have a new uh, catchphrase for today. Can we turn the music down real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon 2, <laughs> Captain Carlin, Wes, Hello. everybody, Luke. Uh, Luke, I do not treat you as you are uh, the early seasons of Gilligan's Island, where it was. <laughs> and the rest. Uh, I'll say. <laughs> poor farmer's daughter, what's her name? Uh, Marianne and the doctor. Didn't have time. Mm -hmm. Some of the, the lyricists must be like, I could cram in these uh, names if you want instead of and the rest. <laughs> Go back. We need to book another hour in the studio. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so on the show today, we've got. <laughs> from Mork and Mindy, Mork Summer. Uh, no, sorry, Mark. Mark. Mark Summers. <laughs> Mark Summers from my childhood. Naya. And you turn on the damn Food Network, goddamn th uh, guy's on there 24 7. He's like the Wolf Blitzer of the Food Network. Wow. All that slime. <laughs> they cook it up slime? Mm hmm. <laughs> Bright and green. And worldwide country music sensation, top artist of the year. <laughs> top artist of the year, Margot Price, be coming in to perform one of her number one smash singles. That's top of the pops, folks. And a little bit of business here before we get into the main show. I'm a, I'm 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 jazzed today, right? Am I oh, talking too fast? Up. Oh, I, I took mine. cocaine this morning. Smoked it. You ever smoke it? You I can never smoke tried it. smoke it. Yeah, yeah. You put it on the tin foil? Uh, I have a I got a pipe. You just put it on I a got pipe. A pipe. <laughs> it's a rock. It's like a little rock. <laughs> I like to smoke uh, my tobacco <laughs> on the tin foil tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of. Put a little put pipe it in, in front of it. Uh, yeah, a little pipe. You, you, normally, I'd put, smoke weed in that, but I put a little rock, cocaine rock in Where there. Where do you get yours <laughs> at? Cocaine? Yeah, dark web, or what do you got? You it's got a not guy? It's pot. It's a clove cigarette. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. <laughs> um, wake up! No, I just had a second cup of Joe. It's, might as well. Um... Got a live show today going two hours, uh, but if you're not watching live, please join us at patreon.com slash office hours live, where you'll find the second half of the show and so much more, so much great gifts we provide. The pleasure's all mine. Uh, I want to give a, on a very serious note, we, today's super chats are all going to the, uh, come on, Matt. <laughs> wimp, wimp. We don't know the pronoun. We just read it. It's it's basically Bas earthquake Basma related. Zaytuna. Basma Zay and Zaytuna. Thank basically. you. It's basically going to the terrible, unimaginable, uncomprehendable, um, uncomprehensible. Thank you. Incomprehensible. Incomprehensible major earthquake that happened in uh, Syria and Turkey. You understand what I'm saying? No, would you please? But listen, I'll send us your money, and we will send it to this organization. And, and we'll, uh, match we'll match it. We'll match it. it. There you go. Well, don't send too much. Then. No, it's <laughs> within reason. No. Got it. Got it. <laughs> uh, it's awful. I heard this woman on CN on uh, NPR this morning. It just killed me. It just killed me. So terrible what's happening there. I can't, I can't comprehend the numbers. It's, it's too much. But we can do something. We can all get together as a family here and do our best to help. And, um, and so please do that. Uh, what else we have? Uh, oh, other bad news in the world of music. Not that <laughs> the earthquake is in the world of music. 
Uh, the Grammys happened. No. Um, <laughs> we lost our great Burt Bacharach. Very sad. Dude. Today. Very bad. Very bad for everybody. My favorites. I mean, you just can't overestimate or underestimate. Huh. What can you do? You can't underestimate the genius of this man, the music. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Friend of a friend of the show, of course, with uh, Dionne Warwick. Dionne, oh, yes. Yeah. Friend yes. of a so friend of the show. Say a little prayer for me, whenever, whenever, until we Shit, man, that guy was a legend. I heard of another, I'm listening to NPR, driving my kids to school, I get all my news. And they said they're playing, um, uh, what's the, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. And this woman goes, that's, as she, as she uh, closed her segment on the passing of Burt Bacharach, she said, Burt Bacharach had a lot of love in his life. He was married four times. <laughs> that's a positive spin on I know, it's just, you know, a lot of heartbreak too, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I can't imagine, I mean, I'm married once. You have been married twice. Easy now. It was a four, <laughs> was a four at once, though. Yeah. But four seems, man, can you imagine going through four marriages? Like, I guess I'm going, like, I after, haven't been through one, so I can't imagine. After two, maybe. You just give up. The guy's 94. I mean, he's, I mean that's, that's a long yeah, time ago. You know, at 94, you got to probably rack up four. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to someday get to four. Well, we miss him. Never got him on the show. Isn't that a shame? Uh -huh. um, Some of these Mormons go through like 38 marriages, T. Well, let's say uh, hello to somebody out there in the world. We can quickly say hello and good morning to you. I know we have lots to get to today. <laughs> Come on it. Hey, somebody's here. Yeah, is that doorbell. our new That's Zoom? Do doorbell, yeah. Is that our Wait new? Wait No, it's in the oh, studio. Oh, somebody's in that da Somebody's in the house. Oh. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Surprise guest. Oh my God, he's going to break stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Keep him away from me. <laughs> Get out of here. Stop. <laughs> All right, sit down. Tim. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Why are you slapping everybody? Oh. oh what? My. What is, what's the matter? I don't know. <laughs> what is, are you all right? No. You just keep flying in here. Sorry. Look at the dog, oh, the dog is running. Away. It's never running. I've just had a really tough year. <laughs> so what, it's only February. It's February. <laughs> Calm down. What's the problem? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, guys. You are on tour? I, I thought you were on tour. I saw you were on tour. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, really. Why are you here? I don't... Well, we did a, we did a kind of a, a rough show at the Casbah. Uh-huh. Um, In the Casbah? It was actually such a great show. But okay. It was, but it was... <laughs> but, um... So it says you. <laughs> If anybody's, at the, if anybody's at the Cosba, call in to confirm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, truly call in. Yeah. Um, no, it was good. It was a kind of a rough, yeah. you know, pass at it. And okay. then we're, we're, this Sunday, we're going to be in LA, and then we're going to head on up to Vancouver. And then you've heard it here first, Seattle. Right. And then Portland. You and then not San Francisco. So you have not announced the Seattle show. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I fucked up there. I loved you. I love you, but I yeah, love I love that um, you're. If you're not following John Early on Instagram, it is worth the money. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I charge. He, uh, yeah, this, and I just felt for you because I've been in this situation so many times. You book yeah. these shows. Everyone's very excited. It sells yeah. out. First and then they're like, "We gotta out add a late show," and then the then it stalls. Com uh, total total stall. Total. So you're like, "Well, I, I just." Everybody's coming to that first show are the only people that are coming to this show. I know. They got the tickets. I, I know. And it's all up to 18. us. There's no there's advertising no, industry anymore. No, it's there's just no all, promotion. All up to the individual. You just, yeah. to, it's, it's so and, undignified. And it then sucks. The, and then the algorithm crushes that stuff because yeah. they don't want to, you promoting, they just want your pictures of, the, of what you had for lunch, John. Just watching my <laughs> algorithms get crushed. The likes on Twitter have been really, really. So go devastated. see John Early. Please, I'm serious. You guys. No, no, this is confusing though. Don't don't go to the, go see the John Early Late Show, <laughs> which is cute. That is cute, actually. Maybe I could work that into some of the promo materials. <laughs> How late is it? <laughs> Ten. It's not too bad. My fans don't have jobs. Easy now. <laughs> okay. Hello, that's why they I'm can't Johnny afford tickets. Tickets are expensive, though. Three thousand dollars for the late show. I understand now. You're like Bruce. What do you think? You're Bruce Springsteen. We are you um, sticking around? 
Uh, yeah. You're not able to go. Well, I'm not going to be here the whole time. <sighs> but but the first hour, That's the free hour. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know this Mark Summers? I, I heard. This you is huge. You got to stick in for that. How I did you guys la- uh, land that? He's t- uh, you pay, baby. You pay. <laughs> 10 G's. <laughs> 10 G's to have Mark Summers on the show. Wow. No, I don't know. He's got a t- new show out, and we are the top promotional. Uh, we're like, go, it's like doing Carson. That's why I'm you here. Know, it's like in. doing Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> Corden, and then you do us. That's what Margo Price. She was Corden <laughs> yeah, last man. night. Was but she's Nashville, you know, Mar- Margo. Yeah, so you yeah. should you should at least interface. Is with she going to be here in person or on yeah. Zoom? Yeah. She's going to be here in person? Yeah. She's going to play a song. Major. Second half, she'll play a song. Oh, major. my God. And I just have bad news for the Zoomers. Boy, do I love you. But how the hell am I going to take one of your calls today is my question. <laughs> Let's take one quick, just so I can say, see, this we have to keep moving. Oh, wait, is my enemy, uh, Danielle, the price is wrong, my, my bitch. number one enemy on the, on the, the oh, baby? Oh, who's that? We got a baby. <laughs> oh, really? Is this the baby? Oh, that, yes. This is my event. I have my right. prediction. Yeah. This baby Look, is going to come and shirt. get me when he's older. Uh-oh. <laughs> <gasps> what? Yeah. Oh. Look at that shirt. I just know it. Hey, you son of a bitch, you stay away from me. You hear me? <laughs> Look at him. What's his name again? This was the... Lucy. Yeah, Lucy. As in Lucifer. Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. Goddamn oh, John really doesn't even put his damn headphones on. He hasn't on. been hearing what we've been doing behind. Oh, I know, I didn't hear any of the cues. That's the way it should be. How are you, little Lucy? Yes, it's me. Oh, get you! Look, don't you look at me like that, you son of a bitch! I love you, Daddy. <laughs> wow. You say hi. Oh, oh I love I my enemy. Look at that. Uh, look at that a beautiful bitch. baby, Matt. This is how we get ratings. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, all right. Thank you. Goodbye. I'll see you in my uh, worst nightmares when you're 23 years old. Look at him. Her. Oh no. Well, that's what What's I can't happening? remember. It's, it's a boy, boy, right? It's, it's a, a boy, boy named Lucy. Yeah. It's a boy. Could be a cool name yeah. for a, ne- a Netflix animated show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at, uh, look at Lucy. Oh. Oh. Lucy. We love it. You got All some right, explaining thanks. to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to bring something up with you, John. Yeah. Last time uh, you saw, we saw each other together, I guess. Was that is um, on the Tom Sharpling show that I guested, you yep. and Claudia came in. We did a very controversial episode where we talked about the worst Beatles songs. And I knew this going in, that you did not know much about the Fab Four. You were a little in the dark. Just <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> a sound effect. You didn't know Yeah, shit. no, I, I didn't know anything. I, I, I knew the hits. You know, my family yeah. had the number ones yeah. album, of course. You know, it was, it was playing at every Starbucks in my childhood. Yes. And then, but you were intrigued by our conversation. I was. You guys were talking about it with such eloquence and passion. Well, and, and um, it, I don't well, know, it just, it, it shook something up in me. And most of all, I just wanted to be included. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you wanted to be in the gang. Yeah, it was hard. But you went in deep. Right? I went in real deep. Because it was over, mm-hmm. like... The holidays or Thanksgiving. Something. We Thanksgiving. can say Thanksgiving here. But we don't like well, to. Actually, we don't have that much a problem with that. <laughs> One. <laughs> and you got hooked. I got I got totally hooked. Are you still in? Are you still there? I'll tell you where I am right now. Yeah. And I've been there for a while. And I, we may have talked about this, but I'm in George World. Oh, boy. No. I'm in All Things Must Pass. I cannot uh-huh. get over you know that album. You know what's... Wait till you hit this, the record after that, Living in the Material World. Yeah. I almost like it more. <gasps> Interesting. Well, that seems I, like a, you're taking a position, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> I love records. It's very like, it's like, it's well, it's not as good as All Things Must Pass, God bless. But it it has this uh, focus to it. Yeah. It's not as sprawling. It's right. very, it's quieter. It's got a little, more, it's not as Phil Spector blown out. I would say it's focused and it's sprawling quality. But let's, let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep going. Move on. Move on. That is probably the worst right. album, the album I hate most. Paul, what is that? He's talking about an album that you like. That is probably the worst oh. album of the album I hate most. It's not him. It's 100% him, yeah. I don't know about that. That's him. Is it that from, is, I swear. is he whispering it to yeah. somebody? I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, I'm really sorry, I do that sometimes. Well, we wanted to do something special. Yeah. We are gonna do a world premiere, and this is, a, you requested this. this. See, this is the song in my first, just like cursory listen as I was preparing the Thanksgiving meal. This was when I was like, Oh, so they're freaks. 
<laughs> <laughs> like I didn't know. Like, and I folks, feel like I'll tell is, you something. This we well, don't say what it is. This ain't fucking. I am the walrus no, or some shit. This no, is exactly. This exactly. Isn't, this got is my human. mindset on you, right? That's what we're doing. I got my mindset. <laughs> All right, I gotta take this out so I, so we can get our close <laughs> blend. Do you harmony. think I should? So come in here, remember? Oh, of course, of course. Of course. By the way, John storming in was a was a bit. It was. We, didn't, we knew he was coming. Okay, don't be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Master Moonlight You came to me One summer night And from your beam You made my dream And from the word You sent my girl Moonlight, Mr. Moonlight, come again, please. Here I am on my knees, begging if you please. In the night, you don't come my way. Thank you. So we <laughs> that, was, that was deranged. That was huge. How are the fans responding? How are, what are the no, what are, what are, what are the numbers? Saying? What are the numbers? Uh, I'm checking here. It's what are they John fucking Mania. saying, Doug? He's, they think he's your son. I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, uh, can like we hear possible. my guitar? I heard it. Oh yeah. On the I mean, in the it room you sound, can, yeah. of course. But was it get, <laughs> Luke? Sure. Was it's it great. getting picked up? Okay. Yeah. It's great. We got to get a mix of that and put it out on sound. That could be huge. No. <laughs> well, we'll we, we, once you come in and record, we'll do an, a proper take. Yeah. But you're right. What a fun song. And people, it's such a it's, good song. Of course, song. it's a cover. So. <sighs> no, I want to be clear. It's absolutely you cover. Oh, is that letter. why it wasn't included in the discussion? Or it was included. Didn't people try to suggest that it was one of the worst? People don't like that song. I, that's so shocking to me. The organ is... is but I love it. Believe the organ me. is... What about the organ? I don't know. Like, rock fuckers... Think it's like it's it's too so corny, man. I, mean, I love the and I love it. I love the organ. The, and it's one of John's best rock vocals. Unreal. All right, enough. Okay, sorry. Moving on. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I'm making a record this week. Really? Yeah. You churn you know I do music. Them? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You churn them out. Tim, what covers well, you make are you it sound add? like a negative no, thing. No, right? no, no, no. You're prolific. Yes, I am. Yeah. Any covers that we can expect? Sort of like how the Beatles used to do? <laughs> no, no covers yet. I made a joke about doing a cover. What was it? Oh, oh I know what it was. Yeah. Listen to the music yeah. by the Doobie Brothers. <laughs> oh, oh, listen to the music. Oh, oh, listen to the music all the time. Like... The joke was that we would spend like all day making like a perfect cover of it that nobody wants. <laughs> fucking oh, listen to the music. We were gonna do that with celebrate. That's a good cover. Right there. Yeah. Just down, totally down, sincere. Down, 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 down. There's a party going on right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I gotta prepare for my Mark Summers interview. What, do, what, what the hell am I gonna say? Well, what's the new show? Hmm? What's the new show? Unwrapped. No, Unwraps. Uh, unwraps. No, I feel good about it. Okay, and cool. you can chime in on it too. Let's, oh. Now let's take another call. Oh, let's do City of the Day. Oh, let's hey, catch hey, our hey, breath. Hey, 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 do you like being on the road? It was good last night. Yeah. Why are you off mic? I, are we? I don't get it. I figured you. Okay. Shh. The city of the day is sponsored by. 
oh boy, this is too small. <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> what? Uh, Ronald Madonna. <laughs> Want some edgy rock and roll with your burger? Introducing Ronald, Mc Ronald Madonna, the new music. <laughs> The new <laughs> Wait. Let me take it back. I really didn't read this one. You got this. Ronald Mc Ronald Madonna. Want some edgy rock and roll with your burger? Introducing Ronald Madonna, the new musical clown. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say the word clown. It's too hard. Ronald Madonna. Ronald Madonna, the new musical clown from McDonald's. Every time you purchase the new Dark Mac with cheese combo, you'll get a free download of one of his new songs, such as World Domination. We're gonna take over every country With a place to go when you're hungry World Domination, every nation oh, 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 oh. Or check out Drive Through. When my crush rolls up in the drive through And the taste of anger. Yes, Ronald Madonna's music comes in all types of today's styles, and he's got some cool bandmates too. The Ham Murderer on guitar, Mayor McDisease on drums, and of course Grimace on bass. Check this out when you order a miserable meal, you'll get a link to the new Ronald Madonna song, Bovine Hellscape. Bovine. Bovine Hellscape. Bring the forest for meat. Better eat your dark max, cause there will be dead soon. So rock hard all month with Ronald Madonna while supplies last only at McDonald's. All right, you're putting that out as an EP, Doug. Do you understand? Very Under the so Office Hours record label. Yes, Very sir. Very good. Ronald Madonna. All right, who's our city of the day, Matthew? Joss. You're up, Joss. Joss. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Joss. <laughs> Joss Stone. Hey, Glasgow. Glasgow is the city of the day. Glasgow in Scotland. Ooh, Glasgow, are you coming yeah, to my show? Absolutely. TimHeidecker.com yep. slash live. Tickets still available for some cities, but I believe sold out in Glasgow. All right. Hey, Josh. Did you get tickets yet? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got tickets. All right. How, uh, to I can't wait to get there. I mean, we're talking about a month away. We're going to be up there. You believe Is Vancouver? That? Sorry. Vancouver is close to Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think, Other yeah, side I think of a lot globe. of. A lot of Scottish people live in Canada because because it is direct. Maybe uh, you could come see the show. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Uh, 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 what can you tell me about Glasgow? I can't wait. Ah, uh, well, I know you love Batman, Tim. I love Batman. Yeah, they filmed they they filmed a bit of the last uh, Batman movie here. All right. Yeah, I'd love uh, to it, see it, the set. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you might not remember, but. Um, at the end of the film, they're they're on their motorbikes, <laughs> Batman and Catwoman. They're they're going through like a a really gothic uh, graveyard. Uh huh. That was all filmed in. Are we in talking Christmas. about the new Batman, the Batman, yeah, yeah. Robert yeah. Pattinson? That was a that yeah. was a bit of a bummer. That movie. I didn't see it. Oh. Actually, uh, in that film, did um, you watch the Banshees of Inisherin yet? No, I oh, yeah. I've been preparing for the tour. What, Where what, is that in Ireland? That's what I want to know. Oh, it's the West Coast. Uh, All right, we're not talking about Ireland with this guy here. He's Scotland. People make that mistake. It's disrespectful. Oh, well, listen, I'd love to say hi to you at the show. Okay, I'll wave at you. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a three days before my birthday, so. All right, hold on. Let me make a note Exciting. of that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you turning, 21? No, th 33. Pretty 33. close. Yeah. yeah. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> When's your birthday? January 21st. Fuck. What? Did I wish you a happy birthday? Absolutely not. <sighs> Whereas I wished you one. Y yeah. Yeah. Because Claudia did. I know. It was, yeah. Claudia. She did. didn't, yeah. Okay. Fuck me then. 
I gotta put you in my calendar. Then I'll never forget. I will live and die by my calendar. If it ain't in there, I don't do it. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Right? I got my every shit I take every day is in my calendar. 7 a.m. shit. 705, flush. 706. <laughs> wipe. <laughs> Why do I flush before I wipe though? Is my question. You like to leave though. Yeah, that's true. I do. I do number two, then I, then I flush, then I wipe, then I flush again. I don't like that toilet paper messing around with that shit. You don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that too to be sitting in there smelling up. You gotta flush it immediately. <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Matt. The Scotsman is Should like. We talk to uh, Mark. Did Mark leave. <laughs> Did Mark <Yeah>. leave? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great American food. What a what an intro. <laughs> oh boy. No, no, listen. We have pizza. I'm nervous. Have 300 hamburgers. I know the guy's going to be a nice guy. I mean, he can't. What if Mark Summers is a huge dick? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. I'm so excited. Mark, are you a I'm not are, what you said, are you a bad guy? <laughs> I don't think so. Most people seem to think I'm a pretty good guy. Well, you, you seem like it. I mean, sometimes you don't know. You get this uh, impression of how people are presented, but then you find out that they're they're terrible people. But we'll do a full background check on you. We'll make Can sure. Can you please check it out? Send me a copy. What a pleasure it is to have you on my show. I don't. I can't tell you. Let's. We got John Early here. I'm sure Hi, you're familiar. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Truly an honor. Seriously. John's one of our bright young stars in the comedy world. He's, a, nice. he's incredible. Uh, where, are you, where are you zooming in from? Uh, the central coast of California in uh, Santa Barbara. Oh, beautiful. You've got a charmed, beautiful life up there, I'm sure. Yes, I do. It's, uh, I worked my ass off to get here, but it's, uh, it's actually uh, very nice. Um, can I ask you a little about... How we know you, like, what? how did you start? Where, where, where's the, what's the Mark Summers origin story? Because suddenly you're a person that I, everybody I know, it couldn't be happier that you're here. How do I come to know you? Where's your, what's that first thing that happened to you that, that got you in front of me and everybody I know? Well, I suppose it was Double Dare. Uh, we kind of put Nickelodeon on the map back in the 80s, 1986 is when we went on the air. <clears throat> then I did another show called What Would You Do? Uh, so I was at Nick for about nine years. But let me stop uh, you there. Movie. How did you get on Double Dare? Yeah, what's like, what's the origin? The, what's the origin? I want to go. Oh, the origin. Um, yeah, the I was a Nolan professional magician story. who then became uh, a regular at the comedy store in 1976. So I was doing stand-up. Oh, okay. Uh, doing warm-ups on TV shows, but always wanted to host uh, programs and kept auditioning. And uh, they had auditioned 2,000 people for Double Dare. And uh, through a series of uh, callbacks, uh, I was the guy who uh, got the got the job. We shot uh, 525 episodes, uh, 525 episodes of it. We toured it. We were uh, on the road doing uh, 20,000 seat arenas. And uh, so many of you grew up uh, watching me, I'm assuming. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. I did. Um, that's incredible. And you. You did you like doing the show? Was it? Oh, yeah, it was fantastic. It was fun. <laughs> What, what it was would, great. It was exactly about, what you wanted to do. Eleven-year-olds, you know. What's that? I said, "What would be wrong with throwing green liquids at eleven-year-olds?" It was just fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, it was a good gig. Did any ever get hurt? Was it like really heavy slime? Did it come down and crash on them? And anyone we had cry? one kid in all the obstacle courses get hurt, but uh, on their uh, you know releases, uh, they lied. The kid had glass bones, <gasps> oh. and so oh. when he uh, went to stop himself when he was falling, uh, his uh, arm broke and his bone went right through his arm. Oh, Jesus. oh my gosh, I remember that episode. Well, they weren't live, right? The no, episodes? no, we stopped. <laughs> okay, good. good. <laughs> Where is that? Is that shot in like Burbank or somewhere like that? Back in initially Philadelphia, then we moved it to New York, and then uh, there was a uh, Nick Studios down in Orlando for a number of years, and yeah. we shot a bunch of episodes down there as well. And then how do you move from that to uh, Unwrapped? Because that is a totally different thing. But again, another thing where you just become you're like ubiquitous in everyone's <laughs> lives because you turn on the TV <laughs> and there you are walking around uh, factories and looking at candy. Like, yeah, I was uh, producing shows and was in pitching uh, another uh, chef trying to get them a program and management decided that uh, they wanted me to host something. So we did Unwrapped uh, for a number of years, about 11 or 12, I think. And then I became an exec producer over at Food Network doing a show called Dinner Impossible and then Restaurant Impossible. 
Um, so it's it's been kind of a charmed existence since 86, kind of going from one uh, yeah. job to the other. In between there, I was uh, doing a couple of talk shows at Lifetime. I hosted a game show on History Channel. So it's just uh, been one good job after another, pretty much. You just lo you love it. There's not, yeah. It didn't feel like too much. The, the no, I've never worked a day in my life. You know, that's how I feel. You love the travel because like, that Unwrapped show has you traveling all over the place. The travel gets a little old. When we did this last tour, right before COVID, we did about 80 cities in a year and a half uh, doing it. Double Dare again. That was uh, when I did it when I was 35 versus doing it when you're in your late 60s. It's uh, more of a challenge, but it's still fun. Can I ask what's the most like, disgusting? Like, have you watched walked away from an unwrapped episode being like, I'm never going to eat that based on <laughs> you know, your experience in the. He's not going to throw anybody I'm under the sorry, bus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I really no. I mean, yeah. you know, think about it. We do a lot of, you know, we talk about Hershey uh, kisses and Tootsie Rolls and, uh, you know, uh, Star Kiss Tuna. I mean, I haven't really had anything that's uh, that's gross or disgusting. You know what's gross? My wife, I'm from outside of Hershey, Pennsylvania, Allentown, huh? Pennsylvania. Yep. And uh, so I had Hershey in my life, big time. <laughs> uh, and you know what the secret of Hershey's is? What? Tell me. S slightly, no joke, slightly spoiled milk. Seriously? Yeah. That's in the milk chocolate. That's what they add to, like I'm not kefir. kidding, 100%. Like look a look it up. Like a... Yeah, like a, uh, what's it called? Kefir? Kefir, yeah. Labna. Like a yogurty. It's just so it has, like if you, tr next time you have a milk, uh, Hershey's milk chocolate, this, yeah. There's a you'll feel it. There's a little yeah. Under, sourness to it. Undertaste. Just a touch. Boy, Mr. Unwrapped never was told that. I, I, I that <laughs> well, uh, we have a, a little surprise for you. It's uh -oh. it's very it's very pleasant. I think so. I think unless you okay. unless you're worried this guy's oh. gonna <laughs> right. hunt you down. Do, is he on Zoom? Yeah, yeah. So this guy, what's his name? Ronnie. Ronnie in actually in Bethlehem yeah. is such a. Fan. I was going to say freak, but he's a fan. He's a, <laughs> look, he has, uh, if you can see him, can he make sure he can see him? Speak up, Ronnie. Ronnie? Where's Ronnie? Hey, everybody. Good to be back. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Wow, look at that. You've got the Nick logo behind you. Where did you get that? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so this is the guest room in my house, which is just completely uh, 90s Nickelodeon theme. That's way cool, man. Show us the rest of the room. Can and there's a baby around? in there now. Look at that. <laughs> yes, and there's a baby in here. My son, uh, Nicholas Elodian. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my. Do you have any double right. bear stuff um, in there? Yeah, there's there's Nicholas Elodian. Um, <laughs> uh, there's, I got a TV with a VCR uh, built into it and a Jungle Green N64. Um <laughs> I see figure it out. I see uh, a bunch of uh, signs. I see no double dare or what would you do a signage? Oh. Yeah, I, you know, Mark, I, I did feel very bad about that coming on to the show today that I didn't have more double dare merch. Um, <laughs> I do have prizes that would be given away on double dare. I've got this cool vintage uh, uh, landline phone. That's wow. awesome. That's, that, a, that's a collector's item right there, my friend. The Blings uh, thing. I do have uh, the oral history of the golden years that you wrote the forward in. Yep. Uh, as well. And uh, and I recently got an original Furby, so that was exciting. Whoa! <laughs> not connected <laughs> with Nickelodeon. Not, yeah, that's not connected to. <laughs> yeah. Actually, a friend of mine created the Furby. Right? Okay. Yeah. Well, there there is a connection. There Did is. you know that? Uh, they yeah. they advertised the hell out of Furbies on Nickelodeon. Oh, so okay. We did. oh okay. I'll say. Uh, oh, I'll say. <laughs> Let me try. So explain to me uh, what your fascination is with uh, all the Nick shows. Mental illness, uh, I assume. <laughs> no. I'm just yeah, I. I mean, I grew up um, in a, a family of seven kids, a very small house, uh, and so I just, as I went throughout my life, it was like we. That is what was on the TV because there were always smaller children in the house. Got so, it. So I just found myself, you know, in love with Nickelodeon. There's nothing more powerful than nostalgia. And so especially for people visiting my house, you know, they get to come and, you know, uh, uh, come into this room and, you know, uh, feel like they were a kid again. And, you know, March 17, 18, 19, I'm going to be in Hartford, Connecticut doing something called 90s Con. I have all sorts of Double Dare merch. You should come and uh, I'll, I'll uh, help you out a little bit on that. Oh, I would oh, love that. Wow. Let's do it. And we'll then, set and, that up. And then something with my tour. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, hi, John. Uh, my wife and I are really big Search Party fans. Uh, it's really cool that you're on the show today. Thank you. That's very sweet. Can I just say something? I think Nickelodeon actually took care of kids. <laughs> because it was it was silly, it was spooky, it yeah. was strange. Definitely. Like, you know, and whereas like not Mark, I'm not gonna involve you in this, but I'm just gonna say Disney is so perverted. <laughs> all right. You know, like, I'm sorry. Like that's not, the that's content not a Mark for kids. All, they're like literally like all <laughs> the girls in like Disney shows have like low rise jeans. Like, really? Like my I feel like like in the early two thousands it was like yeah. midriff bearing right. ten year olds. Whereas <laughs> Nickelodeon was and they and they had like Full Desperate Housewives <laughs> curls, like Beach Wave, like okay. extensions. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's really sick, and I think Nickelodeon always actually was like silly and like right. Well, what about plays, these M and M's? And I think we right. uh, hit the. The, the kids, are, you know, they were real. We didn't have the the midriffs and the blonde hair and the exactly. blue eyes and makeup and all this stuff. Right. All the kids who were on our show were just real people. I mean, their hair was bad and they had acne and, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. across the way could identify with them. And you're right. We were silly. We were goofy and we just had fun. So I appreciate those comments. Good. Yeah. Nice I, work, and John. I think that Double Very Dare good. helped open the doors for all of that silliness. Yeah. Too. Because it was really kind of one of the first shows uh, of its kind. Like, yeah, you can't do that on television was a little bit before us. Yeah. And they kind of opened that door and then we uh, ran with it. Yeah, uh, that's what I grew up on. I had we, in my life, I had Weird Al and I had you can't do that on television. We're full, def, you know, character building, defining yeah. uh, experiences for me. Can that was barf not on always, the show. Barf. Oh, Barf. Did he, is <laughs> barf, he still with yeah. us? Barf the chef. Um, I heard perfect. that. All right, stop. We actually had uh, Weird Al as a contestant on Double Dare once. Oh, really? Whoa. Yeah, he's great. Uh, I've never Very seen it. <laughs> Um, tell me about your new show. It's a podcast called Mark Summers on Raps. And, uh, what we're doing is taking the fact that, you know, most folks at home watch a movie, uh, or go to a Broadway show or a TV show. And they say, boy, the people who are in that show are the luckiest humans in the world. And what they don't realize is all the obstacles that were in their way, uh, for them to get to where they are. And why is it that some people go up around over and through, uh, and, and, succeed and other people retreat and go home and say, screw it, I'm not doing this. And so uh, we start off with Anthony Ramos, uh, who I did uh, theater with for a while. He ended up doing Hamilton and he's starring in every movie right now. Right. And we have a Guy Fieri, Al Roker, uh, Michael Malley is one of our guests, uh, Fluffy, uh, Gabriel Iglesias. And we've had some great stories. We launch uh, the 13th, which is Monday uh, on, uh, you know, wherever you get your podcasts, as they say, iHeart and uh, Spotify. It's and just many- audio? Uh, no, audio and video. Oh, cool, wow. cool. So you get Did to you see. kind of break down Do, the barrier? Well, 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 can I? I should be a guest because I've had great adversity in my life. Oh, tell me. Um, <laughs> this is the pre-interview. Hello. Uh, he once think. got uh, pits and his olives on a pizza. Yeah, I got there, <laughs> this place. Let me tell you, Mark. <laughs> This, I hate olives, first of all. Okay. I love olives, but give me your judgment on this. As a food guy, as a guy that knows uh, courtesy, I go to this place in L.A., Yep. It's a Where club. was it? Dark. It's called Zebulon. I'm saying it. Wow. I'm saying it. Oh, Zebulon. No. They have a personal pizza on the personal pizza, un, I, unlisted on the menu item. It's a dark music venue, by the way. It's dark not, music I'm, venue. They've got olives, but get this, Mark. The pits are in them. Yes, that's wrong. <laughs> that place has no idea what they're doing. No. <laughs> I take a bite. I nearly, like, chip a tooth. Yeah, fuck your tooth, right? Of course. Yeah. I yeah. wish I would have, because then I would have sued. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's basically the only... I was stabbed in the back a few times, literally. No joke. Type my name in, stabbed. It's a great story. Um, you, wait, you didn't Everybody know that? Everybody no. has been through some stuff, you know? I mean, it just you just yeah. don't walk in and get the gig. No, that's right. It's like Ringo Starr says, uh, don't come easy. <laughs> Are you a Beatles fan? Oh, of course, I grew up with them, man. What do you do when you're not? What is what is stop. your? Uh, what do you do when you're not making shows? Are you just constantly working? Is there something you love to do that has nothing to do with your career? I uh, I was constantly working from about 1973 until about three years ago. Uh, <laughs> I was I was running around like a crazy man. Yeah, and then uh, this little thing called COVID happened. And uh, it made me wake up to the fact that maybe I don't need to be doing this quite as much. So I've pulled back tremendously and uh, I'm trying not to work quite as much. Um, and I feel better about it. I, I, you know, believe it or not, I take a five mile walk every day. Oh my God. And, That's great. Uh, 
contemplate my navel and listen to podcasts and listen to music and listen to all sorts of stuff. And um, that's kind of what I'm doing right now, quite honestly. And then, you know, doing the podcast and doing this thing, uh, this 90s con and uh, awesome. consulting on a few shows. So I'm having fun. People love you, Mark. The The reaction we got that you're coming on the show was such, was gleeful. It was people uh, so, uh, no, I've heard you know. Gleeful. What? Gleeful, he said. <laughs> no, lethal. No, it was <laughs> gleeful. <laughs> gleeful. Yeah, no, I... Nice. Um, what was the th other thing? Oh, we just wanted to, um, we don't, the fucking Burt Reynolds thing. Uh, oh. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> what was the story there? You were a guest on Jay Leno, I guess. Yeah, I was on the Tonight Show, um, and uh, Burt <laughs> happened to be on the show that night. He was uh, out of his mind. And uh, Wait, stop thing you there. What do you mean by out of his mind? <laughs> well, Burt. You know, he just seemed edgy. He was going through a divorce. Yeah. Um, his career was kind of on the downward uh, direction. Uh, he had written this book and I guess was trying to tell his side of the story. And for whatever reason, he walked into that show angry. And uh, I was on and he kind of made a comment that my back was to him and I should be talking to him as well. Well, when you're on a talk show. Yeah. That's, you, yeah. You're in the middle of two He guys. wasn't the host. Yeah. What do you want me to do? And so... Um, he took water and dumped it on my crotch. The, the story was, I was talking about a Nickelodeon story, and he said, boy, that sounds great. Who told you that? And I said, my wife, and by the way, I'm still married. Ooh. Oh, okay. Now, wait, so was that, did that just come out of your head without thinking? It, it was yeah, just I'm a, a stand-up, man. I, yeah, you know, yeah. I looked at him as a yeah, heckler. It was, a, it was, like a, it was a light burn. Yeah, exactly. And when he heard that line, he took a, a thing of water and poured it on my crotch. And when I tried to reciprocate, reciprocate, he straight armed me and the cup went in my face. I thought he had broken a tooth oh, oh, and uh, all, all hell had kind of broken out. And as I was talking to Jay, he was laying down on the couch and I took water and I threw it on him. Yeah. And what the audience, what you didn't see at home was the audience gave me a standing ovation when I did that. Sure. Because they were really digging him that night. And the next thing I know, there were pies that came out and we got into a massive pie fight. And, um, you know, it was insanity, needless to say. People thought it was uh, set up. It was not. It was 100% all at But they have reason. pies standing by. Yeah. Yeah. Did, they, did they do the pies after the, after the water let me, thing? Let me tell you the story. Let me tell you the story about that. Um, so I was coming on and originally I was supposed to do a magic trick and I was supposed to do some uh, physical challenges a la Double Deer. And Jay put the kibosh on that right before the show and said, you know, I don't want to do that stuff. I don't want to. Do that. <laughs> that's pretty good. So the pies were backstage people. That's the big question. You know, where did the pies come from? Right. The props had been bought and had been bought rather. And they were backstage. So when, if you look at the videotape and you go on YouTube and Google Mark Summers and, and uh, Burt Reynolds, you'll see Jay look at the camera and say to the stage manager, get the pie. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's quick. Um, what was the final moment with Bert? Did you guys uh, shake hands or was it just, uh, oh, let, let's, let's show this real quick. Just the, we're he just hugged gonna... me. Are you going to show it? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh. Yeah, you know what? You did it with a smile, though. That was... oh, oh, shit. That, that, was, whoa. that is intense. Right? Yeah, don't you? Yeah, that, he's a mean son of yeah. a bitch, that Bert yeah. Reynolds. I I should have ripped his, you should have ripped his dead. toupee off. That would have been funny. <laughs> my, son my son said, Dad, why didn't you rip his toupee off? But, you know, I don't want to get onto that level. No, But he no. hugged me at one point and whispered in, in my ear, the only reason I did that is because I really like you. Okay. okay. So, well, yes. he was probably desperate to set, get, get some kind of energy in that, you know, get something going or something. I watched, If he, I'm a big Johnny Carson fan, like watching the old yep. 70s, 80s shows. And they're all on YouTube and they, they do a pretty good job of clipping them out. And there was, coincidentally, the other day, there's this clip that, that uh, from the 70s, I think. Yeah, I think it was the 70s. It's definitely the 70s. Um, of Burt Reynolds on the show. And he's in a full brown patent leather, you know, top and bottom, like, which was okay for the time. But it was very strange looking. And um, he had just done a movie with Art Carney. And Art Carney comes out as a surprise guest. And the bit was that Art Carney's just wearing boxers. And he's wearing like a sport coat and boxers. And he comes out <laughs> and Burt Reynolds, his, he's got a terrible laugh. He's got like a real like <laughs> kind of laugh. Yeah. He's crying laugh. Like everybody's, everybody's like for five minutes, like crying laughing, like scream laughing. Yeah. And it's just Art Carney in, in, uh, <laughs> in boxers. And it just kind of makes, you know, Burt Reynolds look like a little goofy. Yeah, yeah. But so What is you, it that you like about Johnny? I love how relaxed it is. It feels like there's all the time in the world 
And if you watch these late night shows now, it's just bing, 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 bing. You know, there's no time to sit with anybody. Yeah. I think he's a not, he's like an okay interviewer, but I think um, just, to, it's a nice like nostalgia trip too. It's just like, you know. Yeah, I but, think Letterman was great. And, and uh, Kimmel is about uh, the only person I can kind of watch these days. Yeah. I mean, the whole format seems kind of like an antique in a little, in a, in a way, you know. I agree. Um, I mean, these long form or these long form conversations are much more fun, you know. Uh, I watched this old Conan interview with J Joey Ramone. And it was okay, but it's like five minutes. And he's yeah. like, well, we'd love to have you back. I'm like, dude, you just sat down, like hang out for a minute, get to know each other. Yeah. But with that said, I got to let you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he just, that just landed there. Uh, it was very nice to have you on though, for real, Mark. It's, a, it's very sweet of you to take a minute for us. I appreciate that. Uh, we launch uh, on uh, Monday the 13th, Mark Summers Unwrapped. So I hope people tune in. And thanks for your uh, opportunity to get me here to promote it. Yeah. All right, Mark. Take care. We and, love you, Mark. And hey, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I yes, thank you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you, man. Thank you, Ronnie. Bye, Ronnie. All right. Rate my, rate my interview. You were... I was stunned. <laughs> You were. You're like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I can't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> you were no, I thought you were beautifully. You were very warm. Yeah, I was. I was worried you might be a little hostile. Oh, there's a lot to be hostile about. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was. I thought that Who's was so here? sweet. Oh, someone's Wait, board someone board? else is here. Oh dear, I can't take any more guests. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. God. Good morning. Oh Hi. Good morning. Uh, I know you guys are rocker, country rockers, so this is a, <laughs> nice to have you in the morning here. Right Basic, good morning. Hi, nice to meet you. So nice to yeah, meet yeah, you. nice to meet you. Uh, we're live on the air. Margot Price just walked in, stormed in. And John Early, get the hell out of here. <laughs> John, can John sit there? We could sit Do you know right John Early? Are you familiar with the John Early uh, vibe? We're national. Oh, he doesn't have a mic now. Maron. Look at that beautiful Gibson. Oh my God, I just had crazy flashback feel. Is that my work? This is your work. Really? She's holding up the Tim and Eric. What season is that? Uh, five? How do you know? I'm signing that. <laughs> I brought it all the way from Nashville. It's going to be at 90s Con with uh, Mark Summers. <laughs> we just talked to Mark Summers. Do you know Mark Summers? Mark Summers, I was just last talking. I don't think her mic is on yet, guys. Oh, hello. oh Luke, is that muted? Come on, we, Luke. Can we run into her chicken, chicken, yeah, yeah. chicken dinner? Nah. No, we got to take care of John first. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> he needs, John needs to be on mic as soon as possible. He's freaking out. I'll say. <laughs> Give me a microphone. <laughs> All right, just let's just settle for a minute. Why don't we take a zoomer while you figure this? While you just one sec. Naya. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Jimber. He's doing dishes apparently. Jimber. Jimber. <laughs> the hell is Jim? Here's hey Jim. Can you hear me? Jim. Yes. This is my impression of Spock talking uh, to Commander Kirk. Jim. It's exactly uh, what it word lunch. Yeah. What's going on there, Jim? I want to chime in because I, I got a ticket to John Early's Late Show here in Brooklyn. So I wanted to rep the Late Show, say Late Show's rock. Stoked about it. Now, we're the, but the, the Late Show, the Brooklyn dates are, are doing fine. Brooklyn's fine. <laughs> oh, well, <then> I, <laughs> just, to, just to catch you up, John's doing a little tour. I'd say a little tour. <laughs> and the the, the early shows sold out, no problem. But what they're doing is they're adding late shows, and those things are stalling. The late shows are stalling. <laughs> An older, older audience? She's doing arenas. What do you, what venue? What, Fonda, what? she's at the Fonda. I'm at the Fonda. Yeah. Okay, the Fonda's not that big. The Bridget Fonda. Yeah. You're not doing a late show at the Fonda. No, 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 no. We're doing well. It's ten fifteen, but um, the show starts at ten fifteen. It's a late show. That's tonight. Yeah. Wow. Hey, yeah. Is there open? How many openers? 
Um, there's just one. Seventeen. One yeah. Well, first of all, lots of guests. Drop the opener. Lots of special guests. Start at ten thirty. People be so happy. I know. An opener know. could do fifteen. I stopped doing openers. I my yeah, my last tour was like I'm just up. gonna do the I'm opening. Open it's my show. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'll be sitting at home twiddling my thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Morby. Do you know Kevin Morby? Absolutely. I um, love Kevin Morby. He had a funny tweet last night. He said there should be a band that's called Sold Out, and they only oper- They only open for bands Ooh. so that when you see them uh, playing, it's like, you know, Kevin Morby, <laughs> Sold Out. Sold Out. Well, sometimes <laughs> it would say featuring Sold Out, though. That would be That would be a problem. Yeah. You'd have to talk yeah. to the guy that he, does the marquee. He was going to start a band called Greatest Hits. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, that's a great First album would be called Volume 1. Second album would be called Volume oh, yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good Here idea. You. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, the big one would be uh, a problematic uh, band is The Doors because mm-hmm. what time are you going? The uh, Doors at Doors. Doors. I don't think about Doors at nine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's guaranteed. Where, for why doesn't he have a mic? I'm. Fu- because John, oh, all he Lucas. wants to do is chime in. You want to chat? Chime. All you want to do can is ask, contribute. Can I ask John one more question? Yeah. Yes. Cute. So I also started getting into the Beatles because of that uh, the Sharpling show. Look at what and I like. I've been on a massive kick since then. You you caused a uh, a tumultuous shift in my life. But I was wondering oh, what your like least favorite songs are right now, John. <sighs> my God, <laughs> it's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I hate to like join. I I don't want to. He's mad at you now. Uh, John's <laughs> mad at you. He's mad at me. Yeah. That, was that, Yoko, that last one was Vic. That's just Yoko, though. Um, no, so, you know, I, I, I really am. I'm really falling in love with Paul right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I and I, so I hate to join. I feel like the masses and in, in kind of like making fun of the, the quote the as, John Lennon once said the Granny songs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I do, I do sometimes have trouble getting into the songs that are like beep 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 beep. <laughs> you know, which one's that? Like Maxwell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. After Get Back, I'm like loving it. I kind of like Dude, turned. Ram was the best. Ram is so great. Ram is yeah. so. Are you a so Beatle? Are you a jo- Paul? Are you a Beatle freak? Yeah, yeah. We um, we argue about. Well, I just read time. this book, and I swear to God, I, this book. I'm not going to, this is not a brag to say I'm a voracious, fast reader, but big, thick book called The McCartney Legacy. Have you heard about this yet? No. It is highly, rec- it is a, it's like a deep, deep dive into the 68, 69 to 73 period, the first three solo records. I can play bass. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it is fantastic. It's good. Yeah, you want to know how they made Ram? You want to know how they made that first record? It's they go into the like. Well, he played. He played all, everything. All the instruments, yeah, yeah. On the first one, and that was sponsored by Ram Trucks. No, not. No. Anyways, <laughs> I'll tell you what I, I sour on a little bit with the Beatles, if I have to. Almost lately, it's the, it's the psychedelic period, like, like the Magical Mystery Tour, I'm the Walrus period. It feels like the, you notice they don't ever kind of go back to that. Like they get it out of their system. Yeah, with all the. Tricks and the, there's a yeah. couple good songs in that. They as far as Paul far. goes, um, your, mother um, know. your mother knows great. Yeah. If you just play the chords in that, it's, it's an incredible song. But, uh, on a cornflake. Corn yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but there's some silliness. There's sure. a lot of kitchen sink going. It's like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I appreciate it. It's that's fun, the best but, Beatles, yeah. in my opinion. I guess that's what I mean. No, it's yeah. not the Paul, it's not the granny song. It's more the concept songs, like with the narrative songs. I'm and in general, I don't love that. Like Rocky Raccoon, <laughs> you don't like you're not a, a Paul narrative guy. Maybe I'm. An, I, no, I'm just. I'm taking a stance. Right. We've, we've been uh, covering a uh, wing song. Let me roll it. Oh, we, I, I just heard that let, yesterday. So the oh, let me tell you, great something. song. By the best See, he song. told me go. that Here he was go. just ripping off Cold Turkey. Yeah, yeah, go, you got go. it. Wait, how you do it? I don't know. I don't do it. Come out tonight to the Fonda. Jump up and I sing used to do it, know how to do it. Guitar <laughs> yeah. harmonies. But I always said he's ripping off uh, Cold Turkey. You know? Cold Turkey by who? Oh, that's fucking All right. great. You got to come out to the Fonda tonight. Uh, not at 1030. <laughs> well, that'll be more like midnight. G- give me a, yeah, give me a, give me a, the brunch show. Get the 
the geriatric uh, special. I'll fly out when you're doing like, you know, cool town, Seattle or something like that. <laughs> Are you on tour? Trumpet. Yeah, we are on tour. We got, uh, I don't know, like 13 dudes on a, on a bus. On a bus. And, this show uh, just can't be about yeah. talking about numbers. <laughs> What did I say? Just the time? No, a 13. I heard 13. I heard 13. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I say the n- a number, they I like give that. me that. I didn't yeah. even know. I didn't know what um, it was in for. Um, we saw you when you came to Nashville. What? Yeah. When? Well, it's been years ago. It's, oh. It was like right before the, the pandemic. Was it? Yeah, you and Eric. It was, oh, uh, right. At yeah. the Performing Arts Center or something. It started like out with some sort of... Um, Riff on on like country music, yeah, bro country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was good. Really I liked good. the outfits. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And if you remember, that show had a whole pandemic th- sort of theme at the end of it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Pre-pandemic, Ahead of your time. it was mm-hmm. very Nostra- Nostradamusy and yeah. a, a weird Little Richard thing going on in there too. Yeah, what was the Little Richard thing? Do you remember? <laughs> it, no, it was. I don't remember. It was uh, supposed that you might we might just listen to Little Richard for an hour. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, there's a couple songs in, you're like, this sucks. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, why would anybody want that? I mean, God bless <laughs> Little Richard who passed away. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, he's great. But yeah, when you go, you, no one's going to go sit in the theater and listen to like a recording <laughs> of Little Richard. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, right. what should we do, Matt? Because we are at break time and I want to give them a minute to like guess yeah, get up set their up music. and do a tune after. And then John could get the, the hell out of here. I'm leaving. Where are you uh, off to? You can to? stay. I would like Erdogan? to say. <laughs> no, I have to. It's embarrassing. Mike, are you? Oh, I, I'm literally, I'm literally <laughs> working out. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go to the Paul's a trainer. The Paul is dead po- podcast. Wow, you know. I want to feel this no. guy's. Do you muscle. do it at at home? <laughs> yeah, on Zoom. I could do it here, actually, in the corner. <laughs> you guys don't mind? Just pull up my phone. There's some, some weights Patreon. outside. Yeah. 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 I have so many weights. I can do. Um, I'm. I'm doing one of these. Uh, what are they called? Uh, curls. Curls. Doing 200 pounds on each. <laughs> God, that's amazing. Yeah. So 400. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 400. I do Very 12 good. sets. I would do 12 reps and and 10 sets. <laughs> this show just can't be. <laughs> that's what. That's what people do. Reps wanna, and sets. I want to get those uh, Popeye arms. No. Um, <laughs> All right, Seven, we're gonna take a quick break. If you're loving one. the show, this is another all timer. I can feel it already. <laughs> Uh, we'll be on uh, Patreon, but uh, we'll this this you can watch live right now. So we'll be right One, back two, with some music three. from Margo and John. Early will be gone. Two. Uh, three. One more plug for you. Come here. Come okay. here, you. Come here. One. Can we do two, one more, Mr. Moonlight. Three. Mr. Moonlight, come again, please. Here I am on my knees. Begging if you please. <laughs> and go, where can people get tickets? Where can people get tickets to your You show? can go to johnearly.tumblr.com slash upcoming. I need you guys to fill the seats at Vancouver, <laughs> Seattle, Portland, and you guessed it, San Francisco. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. See, you in, see you in a minute. Hey, give me that cold sand. Come on, baby. Light the candles and pour the wine Please be mine, baby Come on, come on, give me that come on sad night Won't you give me that eleven smile yes. Come on, baby, now give me that, give me that loving smile You got my baby just like a child 